Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Maths Problem of the Week. This week, the problem is let A, B, and C be a unit square where A, B, C, D appears in that order around the square. Let C be a point outside the square such that the distance from C to A, C, from X to A, C, is equal to the distance from X to B, D. And also, A, X is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. Determine the value of C, X squared. So to begin, we've just drawn a unit square here and labeled A, B, C, D around it. And uh, since we know that X has to be equidistant from um, A, C and B, D, what that means is X either has to be some point either over here or some point above the square. Um, since this is a unit square, uh, what you're going to find is that Regardless of where you place it, either to the left of the square or above, you'll actually get the same answer. So we're just going to focus on the um, possibility that you place it to the left of the square. So if we place x to the left of the square, um, what we first know is that ax is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. And if we drop a line from x through the center of the square, what you'll notice is that this line is actually the perpendicular bisector of AB and the perpendicular bisector of BC. So what that tells us is that uh, this point AM, if we call this point M and we call this point N, is equal to 1 half. And then we know that this point NC is also equal to 1 half. What we can do now is actually try to find this distance from X to M, so the line segment XM by just using the Pythagorean theorem really quickly with um, the side AX and um, AN. So plugging in for the Pythagorean theorem, what we get is the square root of 2 over 2 squared is equal to XM squared plus 1 half squared. And solving that out, what we get is that XM is equal to 1 half. So now that we know that this distance xm is equal to 1 half, what we then know is that the distance x to n is equal to 3 over 2. Since this is a unit square, obviously this distance is equal to 1. Um, now that we know the distance of x n, what we can now do is drop a line from x to the point c. And what we do is we create a triangle with uh, vertices at n, c, and x. And we have the kind of other, uh, the other values for xn and for nc. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem again to solve for xc squared. So we can solve for xc squared by plugging in xn squared plus nc squared. Um, and plugging in the values that we know for this. So plugging in uh, 3 over 2 and 1 half for xn and nc respectively, what we end up with is that xc squared is equal to 10 over 4, which um, simplified a little bit is just 5 over 2. So that's all we have for you today for this week's Problem of the Week. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please check out some more of our videos on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.